in this video, I will solve uh, this question. Uh, there are actually four questions here. It says find dy dx and d squared y dx squared when y equals the given expression. So we have four expressions here, so four questions, right? So let's uh, look at the first question. Let's attempt the first question. Y equals to minus 10x squared. When we differentiate this expression, we get dy dx equals to minus 10. Minus 10 stays because that's a constant. And uh, that is multiplied by the d dx of x, x squared. All right, and when we uh, differentiate x squared, we get 2x. Right, so this 2x comes from the differentiation of x squared. And when we multiply this, we get a mi minus 20x. So dy dx equals to minus 20x. And that's where we start, all right, where now we try and obtain our d squared y dx squared. And that equals to minus 20x times d dx of just x now because x is what remains, x. Okay, so when we di uh, differentiate x, we get a 1 there. So, um, uh, tidy all these things up, we get a minus 20. So, d squared y dx squared equals to simply minus 20, just a number, a constant. Let's go on to question 2. Right? Why is this expression 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed? So, when we differentiate y, we differentiate each of the terms independently. You can see that this is a differentiation of each of the four terms independently. When we differentiate 1, we get a 0. When we differentiate x, we get a 1. The minus comes from there, plus goes down there. When we differentiate x squared, we get a 2x. When we differentiate x cubed, we get a 3x squared. The minus comes from there. And when we tidy this up, we get this, minus 1 plus 2x minus 3x squared. Now we go on to uh, d squared y dx squared, and so again, we differentiate each of the terms independently. When we differentiate 1, we get a 0. When we differentiate x, we get a 1. When we differentiate x squared, we get a 2x. So that's what we have there. The constants minus 1, plus 2, and minus 3, they are retained here. And when we tidy this up, we get 2 here, we get a minus 6x here. So it's a 2 minus 6x. That's what we have. Let's look at question 3. In question 3, we look at this, we, we, we try to differentiate this uh, equation, all right? And this expression, really, we should try and uh, simplify it first, and this is our simplification of it, right? So, x to the power of 4 divided by 4 is simply a quarter x to the power of 4, and so on and so forth. And this expression is a lot friendlier when we want to differentiate it. So when we get our dy dx, again, we differentiate each of the terms independently, right? Differentiate, there are five terms here, one, two, three, four, five. There are five different terms here, so differentiate each of the terms independently. When we differentiate x to the power of 4, we get 4x to the power of 3. When we differentiate x to the power of 3, we get 3x to the power of 2. When we differentiate x squared, we get 2x. When we differentiate x, we get a 1. And when we differentiate a constant, any constant, we get a 0. So when we simplify this, this is what we get. Okay, uh, now let's go on to the second part of the question. We get uh, d squared y dx squared, and again, we differentiate each term in this expression here. Right, so we differentiate, there are four terms, so we differentiate all the four terms independently, separately. So when we differentiate x cubed, we get uh, 3x squared. When we differentiate x squared, we get a 2x. When we differentiate x, we get a 1. When we differentiate a 1, when we differentiate a constant, any constant, we get a 0. Tidy this up, and that's what we get. Okay, last question. Uh, okay, and again, when we differentiate, again, I stress, differentiate the three terms, there are three terms here, differentiate them independently. So uh, 2 and then differentiate, differentiate uh, x to the power of 4. Minus 4 comes from here, differentiate x squared and differentiation of this 8 here, which is a constant. So when we differentiate x to the power of 4, we get 4x to the power of 3. When we differentiate x squared, we get 2x. When we differentiate a constant, we get a 0. We tidy this up, we get uh, 8x cubed minus 8x, right? And we have a second part to do, uh, which is uh, 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 d squared y dx squared. Okay, so here, um, 
when we did uh, again you just differentiate the two terms independently so you see the 8 and then after that you differentiate x cubed minus 8 comes from there we differentiate x so when we differentiate x cubed you get 3x squared when we differentiate x you get a 1 so when you simplify this 8 times 3 is a 24x squared minus 8 so these are four questions four very simple questions that i solved for you and the questions come from thomas and finney uh eighth edition calculus and analytic geometry right these are the details where i got the questions from right these questions are suitable for many students any students who are doing uh, beginning calculus thank you right see you in the next video bye bye